In these days, algorithms are now becoming a part of our life. It's staying around us, pervasive and unnoticed. Algorithms fly at a quarter of computing, and if you observe our surrounding, we could find some. For example, a social media network, a GPS application, Google search, or even e-commerce platform. These applications are powered by algorithms. But what exactly are they and how it affects our decision making? First, in general, algorithms were defined as a procedure used to solving a problem or performing computations. Or we could say that is a set of instructions for solving problem or accomplishing a task. And one common example for this would be algorithm is a recipe, which is consist of the specific instruction for preparing a meal. And what is decision making? Decision making is the process of making choices by identifying decision, gathering information, and then assessing alternative resolutions. And in order to have an effective decision making, there are seven steps needs to be followed, including identifying the decision, gathering information, identifying alternative, weighting the evidence, choosing among alternative, taking action, and then reviewing the decision. And this process is absolutely benefits for the business, but there's some limitations in order to run this process. But if we combine these two together, we will get algorithm called algorithmic decision-making, which is the process of input data to produce a score or a choice that is used to support evidence such as prioritization, classification, association, and filtering. And the industry that is now using this algorithm are financial industry that used to automate trading decision and detect invest opportunities. In, in, in education sector, they used to rate teaching performance or even healthcare, they used to improve accuracy of diagnosis through pattern detections. And here are the example of the process algorithmic decision making at a bank. But even though this system was created to be a neutral, sometimes the system also found as an error, which would be called as algorithmic bias. This action is the result of systematic and repeatable error in computer system that was created unfair outcome, such as privileging one group over others. For example, in banking, the algorithm there they used to detect credit worthiness of customer. But in Finland, a company was reported using algorithm that denied many credit so because of its language. Or even for family, algorithm that used to help decide where, whether child is at risk at home or not. But in the US, people will complain about this because they think that software may influence by the investigator recommendation to take their child away. Or in the US, that apply in the justice term, they used to identify potential risks but the software compass wrongly labeled black people as a real offender at nearly twice rate of white people. And this kind of situations also happen in the big business as well. For example, Google. Google photo image recognition algorithm classify dark skinned people as a gorilla, or even Amazon that faced error on its hiring algorithm, which was found as be biased against women since the system generated resume from the applicants submitted over the past 10 years, and the majority of them are male. The system was trained to be favoring men over women. And however, this system has so many benefits. It also affects a major impact on employment. According to World Economic Forum, they predicted that in the year 2025, around 85 million people possibly could lose their job because of the shift from human to machines. But on the other hand, 95, 97 million roles will emerge to cooperate with the new division system between human, machine, and algorithm. And for the company that I'll discuss about is Amazon. Amazon also rely on algorithm to run the business. And since 2015, Amazon has adopted an algorithm to be used within the Amazon Fulfillment Center. The system will predict which product that the customer will buy and what time they would buy. It's predict even before the customer trying to reach out for the product itself. Because of that analytics, the company will stock up the product at the nearest warehouse so they can ship out 
any time the customer place an order in order to achieve a same day or one day deliveries. And thanks to the item to item collaborative filtering algorithm, the use of its recommendation system, it found on that 35% of sales, it's just because of that recommendation system. And that's it. And here is a reference. Here are the question for speaker. And here are the question for an audience. Thank you.